another video with Karen Zima. And today I'm very excited about this piece. It's called A Man with a Vision. And the details of the eyes are pretty good and the glasses. I just love the way the light is just catching a couple of his whiskers down there. Uh, and it's an interesting transition going from the red half of the face to the greenish tones. Two different types of lighting. And uh, it's in your face composition right up close the way I like it. So I will show you how I did all these colors and techniques. You just stay tuned. I can do it. You certainly can do it. Stay tuned. Video Karen Emma. Today we're going to work on something a little different. It's up close in your face. His glasses are down on the tip of his nose and he is going to be staring at the viewer with such intensity. Now the way I want to achieve that is by putting this part of his face in the shadow. But the shadows are going to be red tones. And over here it's going to be lighter with the more flesh and green tones. And those two colors are opposite on the color wheel and they look great together. They clash and make a lot of commotion. So, start with the eyes and that's, you know, I love starting with the eyes first because if I don't get the eyes right, if I don't get that intensity and that emotion, I'll either call it quits on this, put it away, give it another shot later, or I could white it out and just start all over. Like, you know, I really need to get the emotion in the eyes. So, stay tuned and I'll show you how. Because if I can do it, you can do it. So, stay tuned. Alrighty, I'm back and I brought my palette. Now, colors... For this, that we're going to start with the forehead and work our way down, well, the eyes and then the forehead. These are all flesh gems that are going to go into this uh, person's face. Now we have a flesh color and the blue next to it. Now this look great together. So we'll have a lot of flesh and blue. Now on the other side of his face I have these red tones like a terracotta, a brighter orange. Uh, that's almost like a terracotta, it's spicier. A brown, a red, and a yellow. Now those um, are going to go maybe on the shaded side of the face. The green and the blue over here, tones of that. And I have my black and white in the middle and a brown. So, that is my palette. Let us begin this project. Now I'm going to mix up good eye color. And what are we going to do? Let's see. Get some white and some blue. And so, it turns it into like a baby blue. And then we are going to put in some flesh. Mix that maybe down this part. Make some nice gray. And let's see. We have to get a tad of red, put that in up here to make a darker shadow color. Alright, so we'll put the shadowy color in, make it sort of like a purple. That's going to go at the tops. And just put it in, it's just the first layer of color. Just 
just need something for the other layers to stick to. So that's why it's very thin, but I want it thin. Now we're putting on another coat. Thicker.
I'm going to do is keep moving down on this side, and that is the blue side. So let us find a good way to do that. Okay. Take some blue, put it right under here. Blend it out. But then there's going to be some green tones. Um, kind of muddy green looking colors. Shadows. Next. With a little bit of orange tones. We're going to pull out some hairs later on the eyebrow. It's going to be a wrinkle. It's uh, under eye bags. And we're just layering on different layers and just having fun with it.
Alrighty, step back and take a look. I think I'm going to call it quits. I'm very happy with the way the piece turned out. I hope you guys had fun watching. And if you did and you learned something, or you just thought it was interesting to see how it was created, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, keep on practicing. Bye-bye.